Now, in a significant development in the Augusta Westland case, the CBI has requested the President Pranam Mukherjee for permission to question the governors of West Bengal and Goa. MK Narayanan and uh, BV Wanchu had both cleared documents with, in connection with the VVIP chopper deal while serving as the National Security Advisor and Chief of the Special Protection Group, respectively. CBI is slowly ramping up the heat in the 3,500 crore rupee VVIP chopper scam and the probe into alleged payment of bribes has reached the doorsteps of former National Security Advisor M.K. Narayanan and former SPG Chief B.V. Vanchu. What makes the situation trickier is both are now governors, constitutionally protected with legal immunity. The agency needs the President's approval to record their statement. The CBI has said the then National Security Advisor Mr. M.K. Narayanan and SPG Director Mr. Wanchu had attended the 2005 meeting that allowed the changes in technical specifications of the chopper. Agency sources claim the meeting agreed to reduce the service ceiling specification to 4,500 feet from 6,000 feet, allowing Augusta Westland to enter the race for the deal. The said meetings also eased flight evaluation parameters and allowed the entry of Augusta Westland and enabled it to clinch the deal over its competitor. CBI is already investigating the role of former Air Force Chief S.P. Tyagi. Sources claim the Indian Air Force was initially against reducing the operation requirement but is said to have changed its stand after Tyagi too voted for change in parameters. The former Indian Air Force Chief, sources say, have blamed Wanchu and Narayanan for the decision when questioned. The move comes against the backdrop of law ministry rejecting the plea of the CBI to quiz the two on grounds that they enjoyed constitutional immunity. However, CBI spokesperson said the agency has written to the law ministry and not Tarek to the President's Secretariat in this regard. With Adir Khan in Delhi, Bureau Report, Headlines Today.